Hello, and welcome back to LearnSBOM.com. My name is Skylar, and I'm going to be walking you through a Python program called SBOM Tools. SBOM Tools is kind of like a combination of a bunch of different functions. It can list components, search an SBOM, and add and remove a component. These tools work with JSON SBOMs only, and currently SPDX is not working, but I think that's a bug. It also doesn't support earlier versions of Cyclone DX, and I would assume earlier versions of SPDX as well. Getting started with installation, it is pretty simple. You're just gonna need to clone their GitHub, which will be linked in the description down below. CD into it. And then you're going to install build with pip. Once that is done, we can install the Python 3 virtual environment. Dash V E N V. So once that's installed, we can run the build module. Python 3 dash M for module build and then dash W. This is going to create the virtual environment. Once that's done, we can CD into distribution and there is one file in here, we're going to want to sudo pip3 install and then this file. So for me, it's sbom tools 3.2, etc. I'm doing this as sudo um, just so that it installs in the root bin folder instead of creating a new Python one in this directory or something like that. So I just wanted to avoid that. But after the installation, we can move on to sbom ls. sbom ls just lists the sboms. It has a couple of different options and do a dash h to see all of them. File name is obviously kind of required. JSON means it outputs it in JSON format, which means you can you can get an object out of it instead of just a list and choose one entry per line. But let's just do the, the basic option for now. Obviously we need Cyclone DX JSON versions. I have this file right here, which is a JSON Cyclone DX. So if I do that and then JCDX, it will list all the components. We can now just add a dash one in front here and then I'll list it in a row and I'll change that to dash J to list it as a JSON object. With the JSON, you do get a bunch more information. So if that's needed, you can always do that. Just to show you that um, SPDX and XML both don't work, we can as bomb LS, we can do the same thing with XPDX and gets an error here. Key error is a dictionary based error. And that is the case for every tool that I've tried this on for in SBOM tools. So I think it's just a bug with maybe a new SPDX version or something like that. And then just to further drive home that XML doesn't work. Oh, there we go. We can see JSON error expecting value. It's an XML file. It won't be able to be parsed by JSON. So with that in mind, that is listing the SBOMs. It's a pretty simple tool and for kind of specific use cases, it could be quite helpful. Moving on to SBOM grep, this is searching for a string in a file. This will, however, only list components with this string enabled, which is a little bit annoying, but I think it's probably the biggest use case you're gonna have for grepping for something, because otherwise you can just use the actual grep command. Let's do dash H first. We do SBOM grep, we could do dash H or J for help or JSON. And then the search string can be a regex string or just a string itself of a component. And then the files that we want to scan. So SBOM grep, I'm going to just do backslash W for word. That's a, a regex keyword. It'll just get every um, component that is just words, which is probably all of them. And then JSON CX, and as you can see, we get markdown and high down extensions. If we change this to PY, we can see we just get high and down. And if we change this to a capital P, we get a, a different one, pigments. So it is capital specific. And from what it looks like, there isn't a way to change that, which is a little bit unfortunate. I assume you could do some fun stuff with regex to get around that. You can actually try that right now. Here. This could be fun. Little regex thing, there we go. So it gets the capital and lowercase version of P. So you could always do that. There's probably some better ways to do it, but there's always a workaround. <laughs> so moving on now to SBOM update. This is where we can 
add a component to an already existing SBOM. So if we do SBOM update dash H, this one has a bunch of different options. I'm just going to be doing the bare minimum. So we need a file name, so the SBOM that we're writing to, the name of the new component, the version of the new component, and then all of these are optional. So obviously if you're adding an actual component, you'd want to put in as much information as you can because that's the whole point of an SBOM. But since this is just a demo, we can just do the name and version. So dash F, the file name is going to be JSON version of Cyclone.dx because that's the only one we're allowed to use. And then name, just test name, dash V version 3.3. If I hit enter there, we can now use SBOM grep, isn't that convenient? And search for test. And we could see it found a component test name version 3.3. We can even cat it and maybe we can find it. Here we go. So at the bottom here, type application name, test name, version 3.3. So that confirms that it is actually added. For the final command, we have sbom sbom rm. This is the opposite of update. It removes a component from an sbom. You just need to pass the file name and the name of the component you want to get rid of. So if we do sbom rm f, the same file that we've been working with, and then the name test name, that's the one I added in the update. Do that, and then we can sbom grep again, and it's gone, which means that it has successfully removed it. We can actually just cat it as well to see if it's fully gone. It was at the bottom last time, and now it is not there, which means it has successfully removed the component. With sbomrm, it also has a recursive function, so if anything depends on the file or component that you want to remove, it will do its best to remove it. Well, that is it for this tool. I think overall, it's a pretty good utility tool. It lets you remove and add components pretty easily. You can search for them and list them. Those are all really helpful in specific use cases instead of either having to write your own program or just grepping normally, something like that. Hopefully they fix the currently broken SPDX issue. If that's fixed, I would absolutely recommend this tool for both Cyclone DX and SPDX work. It is pretty good and at least from what I've seen works as intended fully. So that is it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in more demos, you can check out our YouTube channel, learnsbomb.com or we have a website, learnsbomb.com. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye bye